In the summer of 1990, this opening was used to introduce to the recreational boating press the yet-to-be-released Honda BF35 and 45 four-stroke outboards and the formation of Honda Marine. Honda formed Honda Marine because before the release of the BF35 and 45 outboards, Honda only sold its portable outboards through their motorcycle and power equipment dealer networks. This required Honda's existing portable dealers to sign a new sales agreement to sell the new and larger Honda outboards, if they qualified. Honda Marine then proceeded to establish a national dealer network to handle the retail sales and the service needs of Honda Marine's customers. Honda Marine originally used the logo tagline, Power in Tune with Nature, to stamp into the boating consumer's mind the virtues of Honda's four-stroke outboards over the competitor's two-stroke outboards. Ah, the smell of two-strokes in the morning. Here is a short course in two-stroke and four-stroke engines. Both two- and four-strokes have the same combustion process. In short, suck, squeeze, bang, and blow. A two-stroke does that process in one crankshaft revolution, and a four-stroke takes two revolutions to complete the same process. Both types of engines have advantages and disadvantages. The major advantages of two-cycle engines are their simple, lightweight design. But two-strokes are noisy, smoky, and could not meet future emission standards. In the 1993 book, Polluting for Pleasure, author Andre Millet stated that oil from pleasure boats is equal to 15 Exxon Valdez oil spills in U.S. waterways every year. You can debate the amount that two-strokes pollute, but you do have to admit that they do pollute the environment. But it is a fact that four-cycle engines create far fewer hydrocarbon emissions than two-cycle engines. The Clean Air Act of 1990 ordered the EPA to study all off-road engine emissions. In the mid-1990s, the EPA set emissions standards for outboard engines. These new rules required a 75% reduction of hydrocarbon emissions starting in the model year 1998 to be completed by the 2006 model year. These new admission standards for outboard engines did not affect Honda Marine since their line of four-stroke outboards already exceeded the emission standards that were set by the EPA. Honda Marine attended its first MTEC show in the fall of 1990. The MTEC show was held in Chicago every fall and was the must-attend show until its death in the late 1990s. The recreational boating industry's response to the new Honda BF35 and 45 four-stroke outboards was overwhelming. Our display booth was always crowded and some people even tried to disassemble our cutaway outboard display. Honda Marine was awarded the MTech Innovation Award for the new Honda BF35 and 45 four-stroke outboards. The first long-term test of the Honda BF45 was conducted by Trailer Boat Magazine and published in their September 1991 issue. Trailer Boats Magazine mounted the BF45 on a Gregor Seahawk 4 V10, a 20-foot aluminum boat rated to 75 horsepower maximum. Trailer Boat stated that this boat engine package doesn't offer a blazing top speed, but the overall performance and reliability were outstanding. Trailer Boat stated that when you have to ask passengers to be quiet so you can tell if the engine is running, you have something special. Trailer Boats was most impressed with the Honda BF45's fuel economy. The optimal cruising speed was 21.82 miles per hour at 4,000 RPMs, burning fuel at 2.03 gallons per hour or 10.75 miles per gallon. Trailer Boats also stated, The Honda 45 is an impressive motor. 
after living with it for a few months and being able to judge its performance, particularly in the area of fuel economy, I am more impressed now than I was when it was first introduced. I think we are going to see major changes in outboards in the future due to environmental restrictions. All manufacturers may not go in the same direction, and there are alternatives, but few can deny that Honda is leading the way at the moment. If future engines from other manufacturers are as good as this one, the outboard industry will have a long and prosperous future. Well, the future is now, with outboards not even considered possible back in the 1990s. And I have to give a shout out to Seven Marines' impressive lineup of outboards. Their innovative and auto-based outboards show that massive progress is still being pushed forward in four-stroke outboard design. The Honda four-stroke, wave of the future? Yes. No other outboard in history has done as much to change the outboard industry for the better and the cleaner than the Honda BF35 and 45 four-stroke outboard.